Hey there folks, Graham here and welcome to the channel and today I'd like to talk about the audio alignment feature in Cubase which was introduced from Cubase Pro version 10 upwards. It's a great little piece of functionality which allows you to synchronize various audio sources together and you can use it for synchronizing your dialogue, for videos, to tightening up vocal harmonies and even bring in double track like uh, double tracked guitars uh, closer into line now if all that sounds good to you don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll be notified of new videos as i release them but for now let's roll titles and dive straight in So a lot of people when they're making videos record their video footage through a camera and their dialogue through a separate microphone into a separate piece of software. For example here I'm recording the footage of myself into a camera and recording the room audio through its built-in microphone but I'm also recording my dialogue discreetly through this microphone separately into Audacity. The issue this gives me is that I then have to synchronize the two together in post-production. I also have to come across the issue of audio drift where everything falls out of sync across the duration of the video, especially if you are doing a, a lengthy 20, 25, 30 minute video. Now all of these issues can be solved very quickly using the audio alignment feature in Cubase Pro and this is how you do it. So up on my screen here I've got two audio tracks from a recent video that I was making. The bottom track is what I will call the reference audio. This is the audio that was recorded by the inbuilt microphone from the camera. I therefore know it synchronizes perfectly to the video footage. The track above is the audio I recorded through my microphone. Now, because I pressed my audio recorder at a slightly different time to my video recorder, they're not in sync at the start, but even if I do sync them up at the start, I may have some audio drift towards the end, as we mentioned earlier. Now I can fix both of these using audio alignment. And to do this, I would go to audio, open audio alignment panel, choose the track that I want to use as my reference. So this is the audio from the camera and click on plus and then choose the track by clicking on it that I want to synchronize and I would then add that as the target. I then leave this as match words, the alignment precision at 100% and align audio. And if I then bring this box up here in the corner, you'll see that that's now processing. Now this can take anywhere between sort of 35 to 40 seconds or so for it to do its business and for it to work out all the data points, for want of a better word, between the two different audio stream, streams and to bring everything into line. So we'll skip to the end of this processing. And there you go, that's 100% in a second, that box will disappear. And then what you'll see as it's finished working everything out in a few seconds, you'll see the top track jump as it moves in line with the track below. There we go, everything's moved. Now if I close that box down, and I'll, I'll zoom back out a little bit here so you can see, you can now see that everything is in line between these two tracks all the way through all the way to the end even the final dialogue is in line so there is no audio drift whatsoever you'll notice up here this little squiggle this is sort of a time stretch signal so not only has the audio alignment brought everything into line at the start but it has automatically manipulated and stretched the audio to uh, get rid of any audio drift that has occurred and to make sure that everything is in line throughout the whole uh, the whole audio stream. You can then just set your markers as you would for a normal export, um, set them to the beginning and end of your reference track duration and then export that out which will give you a new audio track with your voiceover dialogue as opposed to the original camera audio 
and it will be exactly the same length as your video track so you can just drop it back into your video editing software and everything should sync. So that's how you can use the audio alignment feature in Cubase Pro uh, for, I say, voiceovers like this for a video such as these, but it is also very useful, as I say, you can use the same functionality for things like tightening up harmony vocals or double tracking of guitars or anything where you want to synchronize two audio sources. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something new and hopefully something that will benefit you and you can use in your music and video production. If you have enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll be notified of new videos as and when I release them. But for now, that's all folks. I've been Graham Chalice and I hope to see you again next time here on Splutivision.